Namaste. Today we are going to check exercise 5.1. We have already learned what is an AP. Now we will do some problems based on an AP. First question. In which of the following situations does the list of numbers involved make as arithmetic progression and why? In that, the sub question is the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for the first kilometer and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer. So it is given for first kilometer the fare is rupees 15 and after that for each additional kilometer we have to give rupees 8. So how will you write an AP from this? First kilometer, we will give 15. Second kilometer, what will be the fare of second kilometer? We have to pay 15 because we entered into the taxi. And for first kilometer, we are paying 15. After that, additional is 1 kilometer. That is out of 2, for 1 kilometer, we have to pay 15. Balance will be another one. For that one, we have to pay plus 8. And it is 23. Now, third kilometer. That means for first kilometer, in 3, we have 1 plus 2, right? So, first kilometer, we have to pay 15 plus the other 2 kilometers fare. So, we have here 8 for next kilometer. One more 8 we have to add. That is 15 plus 16. The result will be 31. Now for fourth kilometer. For first kilometer we will pay 15. After that we have three more kilometers balance. So 8 plus 8 plus 8. That is 15 plus 24 which is equal to. 39 and so on. It continues. Is this an AP or not? Let us write it. First value was 15. Second is 23. Third is 31. Fourth is 39 and so on. Yes, it is an AP. We can start an AP with any number. This is not an issue. We can start from any number in an AP. But after that, each number's difference must be same that is we have a common difference here what is the common difference 8 so this is an AP we have a first term we have a common difference and it is continuing so this is an AP next the amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes 1 by 4 of the air remaining in the cylinder at a time now let the volume of the air in a cylinder initially be. We don't know what is the initial volume. So let us consider it as V. Volume V, V. Initial volume. This is initial volume. After that, in each stroke, the vacuum pump removes 1 by 4th of the air remaining in the cylinder. This is the initial volume. And after each stroke, it will remove 1 by 4th of the remaining air in that. So, if we are writing it as an AP, we have to find the other terms in this sequence. So, let us find the next terms. This will be the first term. Second term means first value minus its 1 by 4. Minus 1 by 4th of volume. This is 1 volume and minus 1 by 4. The result will be 3 by 4. From 1 we subtract 1 by 4 and we will get 3 by 4. This will be the second term. Now third term. Now this is the remaining volume. 3 by 4 volume is the remaining volume. And out of that you have to subtract 1 by 4 of this volume. So first you have to find what is 1 by 4 of 3 by 4. For that. 1 by 4 of 3 by 4 means you have to multiply this. Of means the simple of multiplication. So 1 by 4 of 3 by 4. We will get 
3 ones are 3, 4 fours are 16. 3 by 16. Now, this is the 1 by 4th of this. Now, that you have to subtract from this. So, minus 3 by 16 volume. This you have to find LCM. This is 4 here. So, to find LCM means we can make the denominator common. This is 16. Here you have to make it as 16. So, into 4. Whatever number you multiply with the denominator, you have to multiply with the numerator also. So, this becomes 12 by 16 minus 3 by 16. And result is 9 by 16 volume. Now, this is the next volume. So, in fourth term, 9 by 16 volume is there. Now, this is the remaining one. From that, you have to subtract 1 by 4th of this. So, first we will find 1 by 4th of 9 by 16. 1 by 4th of 9 by 16. It is 9 by 64. This you have to subtract. 9 by 64V. This is 16 and this is 64. 16 into 4 is 64. Then you will get the denominator as same. So, here also into 4. Here it was 9. 9 fours are 36 by 64 minus 9 by 64. 36 minus 9 is 27 by 64 volume. This is the fourth term. Can you find any common difference between these terms? V, 3 by 4 V, 9 by 16 V, 27 by 64 V. No. The common difference here is not equal. So, this is not an AP. Do you know how to find a common difference? You have to subtract two consecutive values. Let us subtract this first. To check whether common difference is same or not. This is 9 by 16. Proceeding 1 minus this term. 3 by 4. This is into 4. Here also into 4. Because we need to make denominator same. So, don't forget to multiply here in the numerator also. Otherwise, the balance will not be there. So, this becomes 9 minus 3 fours are 12 by 16. Here, denominator is common. 9 minus 12 is minus 3 by 16. This is the difference here. Now, let us check whether the difference is same here too. It is 27 by 64 minus 9 by 16. Equal to here 64 and 16 you have to make it as same denominator 16 into 4 is 64. Now this becomes 27 by 64 without any change. We didn't make any change here. Minus here it becomes 9 are 36 by 64. Equal to denominator is same. Here in numerator 27 minus 36. 27 minus 36 means if bigger number is subtracting from smaller number, you have to change it as additive inverse and make it addition. So, this is 27 plus minus 36. And if both signs are different, you will subtract smaller number from bigger number and put bigger number sign. Here 36 minus 27, 9 and put the sign of bigger number minus 9 by 64. Here difference between second and third term is minus 3 by 16 and difference between fourth and third term is minus 9 by 64. It is not common difference, it is simply difference. So we have no common difference here. Both are different. So this is not an AP. The amount of money in the account every year when rupees 10,000 is deposited at compound interest at 8% per annum. We know that if P is deposited and if it is R percentage compound interest per annum and if it is number of years N, the formula to find amount of money will be P into 1 plus R by 100 whole raised to N. We have already learned in the previous classes. The amount is P into 1 plus R by 100 whole raised to N. Therefore, how will we write the series here? P is 10,000. 
into 1 plus 8 by 100 in the first year. Number of years is here 1. And what will be in the second year? 10,000 into 1 plus 8 by 100 whole raised to. In the second year it becomes 2. And third year it becomes 3. So this is the first term in the AP. This is second term. This is third term. We are writing it as sequence. But is it an AP or not? No, it is not an AP because here the difference will not be equal with this difference. So there is no common difference. If you check, you can see the difference here will not be equal. You can verify it. So you can say this is not an AP. Next question. Write first four terms of the AP when the first term and a common difference are given as follows. A equal to 10. D equal to 10. So, first term is 10. Common difference is 10. First term is 10. A2 will be, this is first term plus common difference. You will get the second term. Now, A3. This is the second term plus the common difference. That is 10 here. You will get the third term. Now, this is the third term plus the common difference D. You will get the fourth term. A5 equal to. This is the fourth term. Plus the common difference is 10. You will get the fifth term. You can write it as an AP. That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. In between this the common difference will be 10. Second A equal to minus 2. D equal to 0. First term is minus 2. Second term is. Minus 2 plus 0, minus 2. Third term, again this is the second term. Minus 2 plus difference is 0, again minus 2. Fourth term, A4, this is third term. Minus 2 plus difference, 0, minus 2. This is fourth term. Fifth term will be minus 2, this fourth term plus difference, 0 equal to minus 2. So, Sequence is like this, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, so on. A equal to 4, D equal to minus 3. A1 e, A1 is 4. So, A2 will be 4 plus minus 3. Go through my lower class videos. In that, you can find how to do operations with opposite signs, same signs and all. So, here I am just briefing it. 4 plus minus 3. Here 1 is positive, 1 is negative. The rule is subtract smaller number from the bigger number and put the sign of bigger number. So it will be 1. Now A3. This is the second term plus common difference. Again subtract smaller number from bigger number and put the sign of bigger number. Minus 2. A4. This is third term plus common difference. Now here same signs. If same signs you have to add. Then simply add the numbers and put that common sign. Minus 5. Next. This is the fourth term. Plus common difference is minus 3. Again same sign. So simply add it and put negative sign. So the AP sequence is. First term is 4. Second 1. Minus 2. Minus 5. Minus 8. So on. Next. First term is minus 1. Common difference is 1 by 2. So A1 will be minus 1. A2 equal to minus 1 plus this common difference 1 by 2. Here 1 simply means 1 by 1. You have to do cross multiplication. That is minus 1 into this denominator. This is numerator here. Minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. Put the middle sign here. That is plus. Now this numerator into this denominator. 1 1 sa 1. Whole division. Product of two denominators. 1 2 sa 2. That is equal to minus 2 plus 1. Opposite signs addition. Smaller number subtracted from bigger number. That is 2 minus 1. And put sign of bigger number. Minus 1. By 2 is the. All these operation related problems we have done in the previous videos that is lower class videos, 7th and 8th videos. 
just go through it it will be more clear for you to do this a3 equal to now this is the second term minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 this is actually additive inverse one numbers positive and one numbers negative adding it the result will be 0 a4 this is the third term 0 plus 1 by 2 this is additive identity that is if you add any number with 0 the result will be that number itself that is 1 by 2 now if you need a5 this is the fourth term 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 denominators are same no need of cross multiplying or finding lcm here denominators are same so you can directly add it directly add it means don't add denominators if, if it was like this 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 then you can multiply numerators and multiply denominators but in the case of addition don't add denominators make denominators same and copy that denominator to the result don't add it here denominators are same 2 so copy it write it here 2 now add the numerators only 1 plus 1 is 2 and you know if numerator and denominator are same same number comes the result is 1 a5 or fifth term is 1 so what is the ap here minus 1 minus 1 by 2 0 1 by 2 1 and so on next a equal to minus 1.25 d equal to minus 0 0.25 here first term is minus 1.25 d is the common difference so a2 means first term plus d that is minus 0 0.25 both are negative so simply add it how will you add decimals write the numbers in the correct place place values so 5 plus 5 10 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 put the decimal here 1 plus 0 1 do you know the place value names here this is units place and after decimal this is 1 by 10th place this is 1 by 100th place. If a number was here, then you will say it is 10th place. Here the numbers will be 100s, here 1000s and so on. Here it is 1 by 10 starting after decimal. 1 by 10th, 1 by 100th, 1 by 1000 like that. So the answer is, here both are negative. So answer will also be negative. The result is minus 1.50. Now this is the second term. To find third term, minus 1.50 plus minus 0 0.25 again same signs so simply add it 1.50 plus 0 0.25 is 1.75 don't forget to write the negative sign because both are negative negative 1.75 now again a4 this is the third term so plus negative 0 0.25 the result will be i will show it here 1.75 plus 0 0.25 0 0.25 means 0 0.25 5 plus 5 10 7 plus 1 8 plus 2 10 now balance 1 is here 1 plus 1 2 2.00 0 .00 means simply 2 both are negative so write negative so how will you write the ap first term is minus 1.25 minus 1.50 minus 1.75 2 etc to find this this is given in the question to find the next term you have to add difference to the previous term now to find this term you want to add difference to the previous term now to find this term you want to add difference to the previous term like that next question for the following ap's Write the first term and the common difference. We have some APs given. It is already mentioned in the question. It is AP. So simply write this. What is the first term here? First term is 3. To find common difference, take any two consecutive numbers and add it. And subtract it. You will get the common difference. So how will you subtract? Don't subtract this first and this second. Write always the succeeding number first. Then only you should write the preceding number. Minus 1, minus 1. So if it is negative minus positive, you have to change it as addition and change the sign of the next number. 
Here it was 1. 1 means positive 1. So you have to make it as minus 1. Now this is addition and same signs. So add the numbers and put negative sign. Here difference will be minus 2. Second question minus 5 minus 1 3 7. A equal to minus 5. To find difference you have to take any two values. So let us take this one. So how will you subtract like this or this? You have to choose this one. So 7 minus 3 equal to 4. So difference is here 4. Third one. 1 by 3, 5 by 3, 9 by 3, 13 by 3. A1 that is first term is 1 by 3. First term we can represent with A1. Okay. Now D. Which numbers you will consider? Any two consecutive numbers. Let us consider these two numbers. That is 5 by 3 minus 1 by 3. Here both denominators are same. So you can simply subtract this. 5 minus 1 is 4 by 3. Difference is 4 by 3. Now fourth question. 0 0.6, 1.7, 2.8, 3.9 etc. A1 that is first term is 0 0.6. Now difference. You can choose any two values. Let us choose 2.8 and 1.7. First 2.8 minus 1.7. We will do it here. Decimal subtraction 1.7. 8 minus 7 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1.1 is the answer. Difference is 1.1. You will get the difference same if you are taking any two consecutive pairs. Okay. You can choose this. Then also you will get difference minus 2. You can choose this or this. Then also you will get the same common difference. Next question, which of the following are APs? If they form an AP, find the common difference D and write three more terms. So first question, 2, 4, 8, 16. First you have to check whether this is an AP or not. For that you have to consider two terms. This is the succeeding and this is the preceding term. You will subtract it. That is find the difference. It is 2. Now consider these two terms in that 8 minus 4 equal to 4. Now here 16 minus 8 equal to 8. It is not a common difference. These are all difference but you can't say it is common difference. All are different. So this is not an AP. Next 2, 5 by 2, 3, 7 by 2. Let us consider these two. 5 by 2 minus 2. 2 simply means 2 by 1. Now cross multiply this. 5 into this denominator. 5 into 1 is 5. Put the sign here. Same sign. Now 2 into 2. 4. Whole division. Product of 2 denominators. 2 ones are 2. 5 minus 4 is 1 by 2. Okay. Now consider these two terms. In that this is the succeeding and this is preceding. So 3 minus 5 by 2. Again 3 by 1. Cross multiply. 3 2s are 6. Put the minus sign. 5 into 1. Cross multiply like this. 5 1s are 5 by 2 1s are 2. 6 minus 5. 1 by 2. Again 1 by 2. Here the difference are same. That means this is the common difference. So this is an AP. Now if this is AP. Then you have to find the next three terms. How will you find the next term after 7 by 2? To find the next term, you have to add the common difference to the last term. So 7 by 2 plus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the common difference here. Here denominators are same. So you can simply add it. The numerators 7 plus 1 is 8 by 2. And you know 8 division 2 is what? 4. So you can write 4. Next will be 4 plus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the common difference. It's equal to here. Let it be 4 by 1. 4 2s are 8. Plus is the 1 1s are 1. Whole division 1 2s are 2. So 8 plus 1 is 9 by 2. Next term is 9 by 2. Now the other term. We have to find 3 terms. So 9 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Again 2 2. Denominators are same. So write the 2 here. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 by 2. The answer is 5. 10 division 2 is 5. So 5 here. These are the new 3 terms.
next minus 1.2 minus 3.2 minus 5.2 minus 7.2 etc first you have to find the difference first we will consider these two a1 and a2 this is in the position of a1 and this is in the position of a2 so let us do a2 minus a1 that is second term minus first term minus 3.2 subtract minus 1.2 and whenever subtraction comes make it addition and change the sign of next number now this become minus 3.2 plus plus 1.2 now addition of opposite signs you have to subtract the smaller number from bigger number that is 3.2 minus 1.2 0 is here 3 minus 1 is 2 2.0 means 2 2 is the answer and put the sign of bigger number minus minus 2 it is the difference there now consider these two terms that is difference of these two terms these terms are a2 and a3 so how will you find difference a3 minus a2 minus 5.2 minus minus 3.2 now again make it addition here also addition now bigger number minus smaller number 2.0 means 2 and bigger number sign minus 2 here we got the answer minus 2 as the difference so here difference is minus 2 and since we got a common difference that is all the difference are same we can say this is an ap if it is ap you have to find the other three terms last term was minus 7.2 minus 7.2 plus difference both are negative so simply add it 7.2 plus 2 don't write 7.4 because 2 is here in the whole number part this is in the decimal part so 7 plus 2 is 9.2 is the negative plus negative negative the next term is negative 9.2 now negative 9.2 plus negative 2 we are adding the difference to each term to get the next term negative 9.2 plus negative 2 is negative 11.2 negative 11.2 one more term we need negative 11.2 plus negative 2 how will you add this negative 11.2 plus negative 2 both are negative so simply add it decimal part we have only 2 here put the decimal now 11 plus 2 that is 13 both are negative so while adding you want to copy that negative here in the answer negative 13.2 these are the three new terms next negative 10 negative 6 negative 2 2 here let us find the difference negative 6 minus minus 10 subtraction becomes addition and changes the sign of next number so here one is negative one is positive subtract smaller number from bigger number and put the sign of bigger number the result is 4 now consider these two terms that is a3 minus a2 then minus 2 minus minus 6 this become plus plus now bigger number minus smaller number and put the sign of bigger number yes this is also an ap we got the difference same if it is an ap then you have to find the other three terms so this is the last term 2 plus common difference 6 6 next term now 6 plus common difference 10 next term next 10 plus common difference 14 this these are the next three terms of this ap next 3 3 plus root 2 3 plus 2 root 2 3 plus 3 root 2 first a2 minus a1 we will find the difference 3 plus root 2 minus 3 here root 2 you can't do operation with the non-irrational numbers this is an irrational number you can only operate rational number with another irrational number now you can do operation with these whole numbers 3 minus 3 this get cancelled result is root 2 now next a3 minus a2 3 plus 2 root 2 minus here remember this minus is common for this 3 and root 2 the, these are two terms the don't write like this it is wrong this negative is for 
both the terms so put a bracket there this is subtraction so put a bracket here now we can open this with negatives so 3 plus 2 root 2 minus of 3 minus 3 minus of root 2 minus root 2 now 3 minus 3 get cancelled because 3 minus 3 is 0 now this is 2 root 2 minus simply root 2 simply root 2 means 1 root 2 2 root 2 minus 1 root 2 what is the answer root 2 will be the 2 minus 1 is 1 1 root 2 is the answer 1 root 2 means root 2 1 root 2 is root 2 yes the difference is again root 2 here both the difference are same so this is an ap so you have to find the other three terms last term is 3 plus 3 root 2 so to find the next term you have to add the difference 3 plus 3 root 2 plus root 2 means 1 root 2. 3 root 2 plus 1 root 2 is 4 root 2. So, next term is 3 plus 4 root 2. Don't add 3 with the 4. This is rational number and this is irrational number. Next, 3 plus 4 root 2 is the other term plus root 2. This becomes 3 plus 5 root 2. Next term, 3 plus 5 root 2 plus root 2. That is 3 plus 6 root 2. These are the three terms. Next, 0 0.2, 0 0.22, 0 0.222, 0 0.2222. Now we will find the difference. 0 0.22 minus 0 0.2. Carry down this 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0. This is the difference. Now these two terms. 0 0.222 minus 0 0.22. Always write the decimal under a decimal. Now carry down this 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. Carry down decimal. 0 minus 0 is 0. This is one difference. This is another difference. It is not same. So this is not an AP. Next 0 minus 4 minus 8 minus 12. A2 minus A1. Minus 4 minus 0. The result will be minus 4. Next minus 8 minus minus 4. This is subtraction, so you want to make it addition, change the sign of next number. Now, one is negative, one is positive, so smaller number subtracted from bigger number and put the sign of bigger number. Yes, both the difference are same, so this is an AP. So, this is the common difference you have to add to get the next terms. So, last was negative 12 plus negative 4. Both are negative, simply add it 16 and negative, so negative 16. Now negative 16 plus negative 4, negative 20. Now negative 20 plus negative 4, negative 24. These are the three terms. Next, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. What is the difference here? Minus 1 by 2, minus minus 1 by 2, plus plus 0. Now consider this. Minus 1 by 2, minus minus 1 by 2. Make it addition, change the sign. Additive inverse, the result will be 0. So, both the difference are same. So, this is the common difference. 0 is the common difference. To get the next terms, add the common difference to each term. This was the last term. Minus 1 by 2 plus 0, negative 1 by 2. Again, negative 1 by 2 plus 0, negative 1 by 2. And, and last also you will get negative 1 by 2. 1, 3, 9, 27. A2 minus A1, 3 minus 1, 2, 9 minus 3, 6. Is it same? No, it is not same. So, this is not an AP. Next, A, 2A, 3A, 4A. 2A minus A, A. 3A minus 2A. Again, 1A. One 1A one means A. 4A minus 3A. Again, 1A. That is a. So, difference are same. It is common difference. So, this is an AP. Next term will be 4A plus common difference A. 5A. 4A plus single one A is 5A. The other one will be 5A plus A. That is 1A. 6A. Now, next is 6A plus 1A. 7A. These are the three terms. A a square, A cube, A raised to 4. Second term minus first term. 
if you want you can write like this because you can't subtract it this is quadratic and this is linear so you can't do the operation between them but if you want you can take one a outside taking one a common a outside here the left will be in a square a is taken outside L left we have 1a because 1a is taken outside minus here only 1a that a is taken outside so here we balance will be 1 that is let us open this bracket to check whether we'll get this or not a into a a square a into minus 1 minus a like that next a cube minus a square again take what will you take common here a cube and a square in that we can take a square as common here two a's are taken outside balance will be one a here two a's are taken outside balance is one so a square into a minus one this is a into a minus one difference and this is a square into a minus one this is not same so it is not an a next question root 2 root 8 root 18 root 32 root 8 minus root 2 how will you find the value of root 8 we want to find the square root of 8 that is 8 try and factorize it 2 4s are 8 2 2s are 4 again 2 1s are 2 factorize it with the prime numbers now if you are finding square root you want to pay a 2 if you are finding cube root you want to pay a 3 so what will you pair here? You need to find the square root. So pair 2 and take 1, 2. This will be free from square root. But this is a 2 without a pair. So you want to keep that inside the root itself. So root 8 can be written as 2 and the single 2. Single 2 will be inside the root. Root 8 is 2 root 2 minus root 2. 2 root 2 minus root 2. Root 2 means 1 root 2. Equal to 1 root 2. Now next root 18 minus root 8. Root 8 we know 2 root 2. Root 18 we have to find. Again prime factorize it. To find square root prime factorize and pair 2 numbers. Here 2 9 2s are 18. 3 3 3s are 9. 3, 1. This is the prime factorization of 18. Now, here there is a single 2 without a pair. This 3 have a pair. So, take 1, 3. And this 2 without pair will be inside the root. So, root 18 is 3 root 2. Now, 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2 is root 2. That is what we got here in the previous step also. So, difference are same. So, we can say this is an AP. How will you find the next term? Add the difference. Root 32 plus root 2. First you want to check what is root 32. Again factorize it. 2. 2 ones are 2. Balance 1. 12. 6 twos are 12. 2. 8 twos are 16. 2. 4 twos are 8. 2. 2 twos are 4. 2 ones. Now pair it. Pair it. 1, 2 inside the root. So, pairing it, you will consider 1, 2. Pairing this 2, you will consider another 2. 2, 2 is 4 and 1, 2 inside the root. So, root 32 is 4 root 2 plus root 2. Plus root 2 is this difference. You are adding difference to this term. Then only you will get the next term. So, this term you can rewrite as 4 root 2 plus this difference. And 4 root 2 plus 1 root 2 is 5 root. The next term is 5 root 2. Next 5 root 2 plus root 2 that is 6 root 2. 6 root 2 plus root 2 that is 7 root 2. These are the other 3 terms. Root 3, root 6, root 9, root 12. Root 6 minus root 3. The number inside the roots are not same so you can't proceed. This is the final answer. Or you can rewrite like this. Root 6 you can write it as root 3 into root 2 is root 6 minus root 3. Now in these two terms you have root 3 common. So take root 3 outside. Balance will be root 2 here minus this root 3 is taken outside. So balance will be 1. This is the answer. No need to do this. Just keep it like this. Now consider this root 9 minus root 
6. That is third term minus second term. Root 9. The, we know the square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus root 6. Root 6 minus root 3 and 3 minus root 6 are not equal. So this is not AP. Next 1 square, 3 square, 5 square, 7 square etc. Here first we want to find the square numbers. 1 square is 1, 3 square 9, 5 square 25, 7 square 49. Now subtract 9 minus 1, 8. 25 minus 9 is 16. These are not equal. So it is not an AP. Next 1 square, 5 square, 7 square, 73. Here these 3 are in the form of square numbers. This is 73. First we will find what is square numbers of this. 1 square is 1, 5 square 25, 7 square 49, 73. Now 25 minus 1, 24. 49 minus 25, again 24. 73 minus 49, 24. Yes, difference is 24. So what will be the next number? 73 plus 24. 73 plus 24 is 97. Next number will be 97 plus 24, 121. 121 plus 24, 145. These are the other three terms.